Hey guys, Sandy Bird 2000 here, and I'm doing a really quick video on the um, USG um, tactical laser. Um, so what the name was, uh, I don't think this is too popular of an airsoft item, but I don't know. Um, I haven't seen any other reviews on it on YouTube, so I don't know. But yeah, I got it. Um, the only bad thing I can say about this is that, um, actually there's three bad things I can say about this, is that, um, one, when you get it, my batteries did not work at all, so that kind of scared me, I went out to a store, we had to go to four different stores, um, finally to find them, we found them at two sto three stores, the first store was Target, they didn't have them there. Second store was Radio Shack. They had them there, but they were 13 bucks for um, a pack of three of them, and which is how many you need for this. And then um, at uh, Walgreens, they were 10 something, and at Rite Aid, they were seven something. So um, yeah, I got them at Rite Aid. They are actually hearing aid batteries. They were seven bucks for like eight of them. Pretty good price. Um, so the laser itself is kind of powerful. Um, it like it's powerful for the first like ten seconds maybe, and then it um it kind of really dims down. But or not ten, say more like four or five seconds, and then it um. This laser has been used for more. If you're putting it on a pistol and you're just planning to hold the pressure plate down uh, the whole time, it would not, not be a good laser. But um, it's kind of just like an anger mode, almost like an anger gun makes your body turn the laser on and the lasers on the person they shoot. Um, I found that by mounting this on the side of a rail uh, with a really pretty much precision um, uh, accuracy. Uh, I'm not saying my accuracy is precision, I'm just saying there's a tight hole barrel and you have to pop up. So the accuracy, accuracy is pretty good. And I shot it pretty up close and it shoots a little high. It's putting it on the side of a um, uh, weaver mount rail, I believe they're called, or Picatinny rail whatever you want to call it, so yeah, um, take it apart, there are, there's a screw right there, it comes with the Allen keys you need, and then if you want to put this on the front of the MP5, the front, um, front, what do you call it, the front, um, iron plate, there's, there's a little spot for it, correction chrome, it shows you how to put them on there, anyway, um, so yeah, um, another thing I found out, you cannot use it handheld. Um, it does not really work. So, just found that out. By the way, so just keep that in mind. Um, the other side, it does come with Velcro. And the wire is pretty long. So, um, I was able to get it all across my rail system. Which isn't that long, but I haven't mounted on the other side because on this side my hand blocks it. But there's a padded pad right there. Um, so the pressure plate is pretty easy to find. Uh, with gloves on, I don't know. You might have to cut your thumb off, or the thumb hole off, so you can use this guy. But um, pressure plate works pretty well. Um, like I said, for some reason the laser isn't really working for me with um, when I hold it, even though I don't really need to hold it. I'm just saying it works best like this. So yeah, it also came with Velcro. Uh, the Velcro is not... T attached on there automatically, but actually this is pretty useful. It comes with two little pieces of Velcro that fit it perfectly, so you can just put the um, pressure switch, pressure plate, whatever you want to call it, right on here, and it works pretty well. So um, I could see this breaking pretty easily. I had something like this, except it was like a $10 one instead of a $25 one. Um, so I could see this breaking after use, but I don't know, for the price, it seems like a pretty good laser. So, like I said, batteries are pretty expensive. Thanks, all metal. Would I recommend this? 
Mm, probably not. But, I don't know. Um, if you're like me, and you're just going to use it to kind of get that precise when you just need quick, like, you're pointing at a guy and you just need to tell where he's at quick, just press the button and you know where he's at. Uh, it might work for that, but if you're one of those people that likes to hold it down, like, in Battlefield 4 and clear out a whole room with it held down and then turn it off. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend that, but yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. Please like this video. That would help out a lot. Uh, just leave a comment below. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.